Hey guys, welcome back. It is December the 22nd, 2018. I have been gone from YouTube for a long time. Um, I've got two live videos that I've done. It's up on my channel on kind of what's been going on. Back in June, I got sick. Really not feeling the best. Um, just not for sure what was going on. Um, coughing, sneezing, but I was going back and forth to North Carolina with my dad. I'm going to use the Stella uh, primer on my face. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my makeup. And if I forget to tell you what I'm using, um, I'll link it in the description below. But anyway, um, I just thought it was my allergies acting up. So I talked to my doctor and, thank you honey. And can you get him out so he'll quit with the, the Christmas stuff? I got presents in here. I got to finish wrapping. But anyway, um, I just thought it was my allergies because we went through pine forests, like where they harvest pine trees for um, Christmas. And I'm highly, I know I'm highly allergic to evergreens. So I talked to my doctor and she was like, well, why don't we try um, allergy shots and see how that works. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to use this BG. It's called Beauty Glaze Rose Gold uh excalibur it's got 24 karat on it on top of the stilla i was like okay so she set me up with an allergist over in kingsport and i started doing allergy shots twice a week and then we had a three-step plan so i done twice a week for three weeks and then i went back and seen the allergist and then we did five weeks so i went back and seen the allergist and we were supposed to have done another set and we didn't. Well, I started getting really sick. And my hair is going to fall because I just got out of the shower. And I haven't done my hair yet. But, um. Let me go ahead and take this down. It was just like. I would take my shot on Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay. And Tuesday evening I would come home. I'd go after one. And I'd get home about. I don't know. 115, 120, 130. Somewhere around in there. I would just be completely zonked like I felt like I had been whooped I was tired I felt like the flu was coming on and I just did not feel good so I kept having to take dad back because by this time he had had his graft done so he had to go back and make sure the graft was taken I'm just gonna pull my hair back for right now and um get my gator clip here and um I was like you know I don't know. So I just continued with my shots. Well, then I started missing shots because I just did not feel good. I hurt in my chest and I ached all over and I thought, okay, something's not right. So I waited four and a half months before I ever went to my doctor just because I don't, I'm not one of these who complain about everything. Um, if you're sick, you're sick. You take care of it for yourself. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape uh, Foundation and I am in porcelain. So, I was, like, really feeling it. So, before this, I had seen the allergist, and she had sent me for a, for a x-ray and said that I had double pneumonia and put me on an antibiotic and gave me a shot of prednisone. And I was like, okay. And I've got a lot of breakouts, guys, and it has to do with all this that's been going on. Um, and my rosacea is getting worse. So anyway, uh, they, I called Samantha, who is my doctor, and I told her what was going on, and she was like, okay, what medicine they put you on, I told her, it was an antibiotic, and that they gave me a, um, this is a real technique, big sponge that Casey Holmes uses, I love it, it gets everything like really quick, and uh, this is the first time I'm actually going to be going out of the house other than to a doctor. And this is the first time I have put makeup on in almost six months. Because my husband just asked me if I'd remember how to do all this. Because it's been that long. So anyway, fast forward five months later. I see Samantha, my doctor, my PCP. I need to quit doing that. And um, she sends me for another x-ray. Well, nothing shows up. But they're still treating me for double pneumonia because the way I sound, I'm raspy, I'm rattly. I'm just now getting my voice back, guys. Like, I had no voice. And I'm using the Shape Tape um, Concealer and Fair also. So I was like, I was, I felt I was dying, to be honest with you. I was so sick. 
we was having to cancel appointments to North Carolina for Dad because I couldn't drive. Dad was sick, not feeling the best. Mom doesn't drive um, on interstates and stuff like that. So, Samantha decides, she talks to her, the doctor. She's a nurse practitioner, but I trust her with my life. So, she talks to the doctor there, and they both decide to send me for a CT. Because the chest x-rays are just, you know, not, not doing it for them. So, I go and have a CT, and I asked the guy, because I knew him. I've known him for years. I said, well, what did it look like? And he said, well... You take a slice of bread, and that's how many times we've sliced you, and then we've got to turn it and slice it again, and then put you all back together. So, we won't know until the radiologist reads it. And I'm like, okay. So, I'm still feeling like crap. I'm not supposed to be driving because I'm, I'm feeling so down. and so, Not down, but just um, wore out. Just My reflex is really bad. I've been falling and that kind of thing. I'm going to use the Tarte um, Smooth Operator to set that and then set my whole face. So, I go, I get home, and I'm home less than five minutes, and I get a phone call, and it's my PCP's nurse, my PCP, and the doctor there, all on a speakerphone, I'm to go on complete bed rest. I am to go see a lung specialist. I am to not do anything, and I'm like, okay, what is going on, guys? What have you all found out? This is not coming out quick enough for me. And they're like, you have something called pulmonary hypertension. And I said, okay, exactly what that, what is that? And they were like, it's very serious. We recommend you just kind of chill out. Don't lift nothing. Don't drive. When you get tired, lay down, go to sleep. Um, stretch out and sleep. Try to sleep as much as you can until we can get you in to see the lung specialist. Well, the girl who does the referrals, I've known all my life. Me and her are really good friends. I was in her wedding. And, um, she's like, she calls me, she's like, girl, what's going on? And I was like, well, you know, I don't know. I'm just getting this information myself. I'm not even researched it. I don't know whether I even should. Josh is at work. There's nobody home with me. I'm home by myself when I get this information. And like I said, it's less than five minutes when I get home. That they call. I'm not sitting like baking my under eye because I just don't I think it'll be okay. I've wore this before and it's not creased on me. So anyway, um, she calls me. I mean, it's not 30 minutes. She calls me back and she's like, "Okay, I brought you in to see Dr. Emery, who is a lung specialist in Kingsport, who my dad sees on the 28th. Please do not miss this appointment." And I'm like. Okay, whatever you guys say, I'm going to do. I'm laying in bed right now. So, I'm laying in bed, and I'm like, okay, what's, what, what, what is this? So, I look online, and I go to um, mayoclinic.com. I forgot to get eyebrow stuff out, so hold on with me, guys. You know, I know how I am. It's been a while. Just bear with me. So, I'm starting to look this stuff up, and I'm starting to freak out, so I just closed the... I just shut, shut it down. I just, I'm like, nope, mm -mm, not going there. Because it's talking about lung collapse, biopsies, open lung biopsies, affect your heart. Um, so then they decide to send me for an echocardiogram. So I go on and do an echocardiogram. I'm using the uh, MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. Okay, there we go. I was like, I don't know how it twists. I've never used this, so we're going to try it. So, I called Josh, and I tell Josh, and he's like, do you need me to come home? And I said, no, because he was on a trip. I said, no, Mom and Dad's at home. My aunt's at home. I said, I'll be fine. So, I'm like, laying in bed asleep, and that's something else. I, stayed, I was staying so sleepy. And I thought, well, it's the prednisone because prednisone will make you sleepy. And I'd had z -Pack, and I'd had prednisone, and I'd had, now this is my mouth, and I'd had another antibiotic, and I'd had another shot, and I mean, I was just like, I went into the drugstore to get my medicine, another round of 
um, prednisone before I went to see Dr. Emery. And the uh, druggist who I've known, I mean, this is a small town, so you know everybody and everybody knows everybody. And of course, they're in line. They're in line, he's in Lions Club with my husband and my father-in-law also. So, And I went to school with his daughter, who's a pharmacist. And she works there. And we were like, this is Benefit, Give Me Braille, and I believe three. And, um, well, you can tell I ain't done eyebrows in a while. Look at that mess. I'll have to clean it up for sure. So, he's like, I'm kind of concerned because the same... You've had all these antibiotics. You've had all this stuff. And I was like, well, here's what they've told me I've got. And I have to go see a um, lung specialist on the 28th of, DC, of November. And if I missed it, it'd be in January before I could go see him. So I was like, I can't miss this appointment. So it just takes the day off. My mom goes with me. i got to clean this up. It's driving me crazy. So we go and... They make me do a lung functioning test, which I passed with flying colors. I mean, it was nothing. And then the doctor comes in, and we go over my history and that kind of thing. And he goes, your, your CT is the boringest CT I've ever looked at. It's boring. It's just a CT of your lungs. It's boring. And I was like, okay, what about my, EK, what about my echocardiogram? Because I was born with congenital heart disease. And um, he said, it's fine. He said, let me show you what they based their diagnosis on and scared you to death with. And I was like, okay. I had one vessel that went from the heart, that goes from the heart to the lungs. It's the main vessel that was swollen. It was enlarged, which is what gave them the diagnosis of the pulmonary hypertension. And I was like, okay. So he's showing me all this and he's talking to me and mom and Josh is on the other side of the room listening. And he's like, here's what we're going to do. You have chronic bronchitis. You will have that the rest of your life. And he said, on top of that, you have acute asthma. He said, so what we're going to do is we're going to put you on an inhaler. And he said, we may have to switch a couple inhalers here and there until we get the right inhaler to work for you. And he said, then we are going to use your nebulizer, because I had a nebulizer by this time. And um, you're going to use it when you need to, if you have a, an attack. And you need to use it. We're going to, we're going to do that. And he said, now, I want to see you back in three months. I want you to have um, a blood test done. And, um, you know, let me know if anything changes or if this don't work. The next morning, I took that inhaler. And I've only had to use my rescue inhaler three times since November 28th. And this is the 22nd of December. But one of those times was a panic attack. The next time was de was a panic attack, asthma attack. And the first time was definitely an asthma attack. And I just, I haven't had energy to do YouTube. I can't watch, I can't stay awake. Like, my whole demeanor has changed because I still haven't got my strength back, and that's the worst thing, is, like, I try to clean some in the house. I mean, the house isn't dirty. It's just cluttered where we've not been doing nothing. Josh has been working a lot of hours, and I've been told to lay in bed and not do nothing. So, it's just been one of them things where, you know, I'm going to use the NYX, or NYX, as they've started doing it, and I'm using um, what I've always used. Nectar and what's this one called? I can't remember. I think it's caramel. No, toffee. Nectar and toffee to chisel out my cheekbones just a little bit. Um, so that's what's been going on. I just haven't had any now the sun decides to come out that I've got meringue light on. So I've just not had any energy to really do anything. And I was unloading the dishes one night. Now, this is before I went to the doctor. Josh came home and he's the sink was full of dishes, and I was getting really anal about that. And the kitchen needed to be swept, and it was something else I was kind of getting upset about. And I was told no stress, um, you know, try to keep my anxiety down. If I felt it flaring up, go do something that I enjoy doing, but lay down in bed with it. Y'all know how hard that is if you have anxiety? 
you all that have anxiety out there know what I'm talking about. To lay down and just try to do something you enjoy doing and fight the anxiety. That's stress enough right there. So, here I am doing all this stuff that I'm supposed to be doing until I go see him. And then he's like, you're fine. You're going to live. Because the life expectancy with this is like bad. It's like three to five years. So I was kind of, I mean, that's with biopsies and all that good stuff. That's the worst case scenario. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use the Morphe blush palette. And I believe this is the Cool Pro 8C. It looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's actually a really pretty pink or peach, but it's showing it pink. But I'm going with It's Girl. It's the one beside of it. Just to put a little color on my cheeks. So, um, I was like, why did they scare me so bad? But they, you know, like Dr. Emery explained, they were just reading it. And the way the radiologist is trained to read, and that's what they read. So it's not like they were trying to like kill me or scare me or anything, but they were just trying to be concerned about me. And it was like, we call it Grey Thirsty because it's the Walmart thing. And Josh was like, we're not going to get to go to that this year. I was like, no, we're going to do it online and you're going to get in the movies because we always get our movies at the time. Okay, for my eyes and my highlighter, this is what I asked Josh for for Christmas and he's going to let me have it. Laura Lee has come out with her kit called Sleigh Bell. It looks like this, pretty packaging, and it actually looks like a present. So I was like, that's all I want for Christmas, Josh. And I've done opened it. And when I opened it, I screamed. Let me show you why I screamed. I never thought in a million years I would get this. I knew she was signing some cards to put in them, but I never thought I'd get one. And I know there's been a lot of drama out in L.A. and all that kind of stuff with all this crap, but I'm not getting into it. I like the products, and I'm using them. So this is what that sleigh bell looks like. Six shadows. Beautiful color. You got bright lights. Wish list. Chocolate cherry. No, cherry chocolate. I'm sorry. Uh, jolly. Wrap it up. That green is gorgeous. And festive and I'm going to use bright lights festive and chocolate cherry today and then I got a new set of Lexi brushes and I believe I don't know one of my box I think it was my boxy charm last month November yeah because in December I got the I upgraded so every three months I get the Lux boxy Lux and it's worth it. It's worth the money. Because I love I love Morphe brushes, don't get me wrong. And I'm not paid to say that because I don't get a dime out of this and nothing is sent to me without paying. But let me just show you the box set. If you all have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. I got a box set of brushes. I'm in heaven. Yeah, so... And there's a lot of other things. I'll, I've got a basket over here full of stuff that I need to, to, to go through. I've got so much to do. I had to move a bunch of stuff so I could do this video. I'm going to take the Luxie. And these are gold. This is um, 121. And I am going to take Bright Lights. And this has got a mirror in it, which I truly love. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of kick up in that. Look. There's not hardly any. There's a little there, but, you know, everybody's got a little. All eyeshadows have it. I don't care if it's drugstore or high-end. Put that in my crease just a little bit, just to get it going. And then I'm going to dip into it again and go over my eyelid. Go up. Just do the whole eye on this is what I'm going to do. So anyway, that's what's been going on with me. Comment in the comment section if you all are 
you know, like my lid for a highlight, as I was saying. And I'm gonna get my little fan brush, which is Morphe. And it is M MB40, it's just a small, thin fan brush. I mean, that is gorgeous. And you can't tell, and I hate my lighting so crappy. The sun went out and the, the light was working and now it's not. And I haven't got to do anything. Like Maddie's room hasn't got to get cleaned and done and rearranged. My beauty room has not got to be changed and rearranged. It's just been a crappy year. And to make things worse, and I I hate to say any of this, but um, if you all watch this and Maddie hasn't told you or Rebecca hasn't told you, please do not bring it up to him because it hurts still. Um, last Friday night was my dad's birthday, and we were all down there celebrating. And um, they have a Yorkie, and they have a French Bulldog, and the French Bulldog's name is Boudreau. They called him Boo. Which is funny because that's my sister's nickname for me. That's what I call her, his boo. Um, it had went out to use the bathroom without a leash. And mom and dad's house is right on the road. And it had took off running and Maddie was trying to get it. And a car was coming and Maddie was screaming breathless. Stop, stop, stop my dog, my dog, my dog. And the dog got hit and killed instantly. So... It was really bad. Okay, lipsticks. We have I have my contacts in, but I'm telling you what. Rose icing, which is this color. I love the point, the clearness. And the doe foot, from what I've seen online, is beautiful. So that's what that one looks like. And then we have Kissmas, which is a ready pink color. So I don't think it's a true red. Well, yeah. Actually, it is a true red. It don't look like that in the bottle, but it is definitely a true red. It's beautiful. So that definitely won't go with my lips today. Or my eyeshadow today so we can put that one back and this one is called pouty and nice i love the names i just i, I gotta get a kick out of them and that's a mauve color it's the last one i think i'm gonna use the first one i'm gonna use the um kiss and what was it Rose, rose icing. Before I do that, we are going to um, do my mascara because I haven't done that yet. I don't want these off. Working them on. Well, I end up wearing them. I think she said they dried down to a matte. I cannot promise you that. Wait a minute, I'll tell you the um, prices of everything too. It's on her card, which I'm going to frame. Y'all can think I'm crazy if you want to. The eyeshadow palette has the six colors in it. Uh, two mattes, four shimmers. The liquid lipsticks. And then the three highlighters. And it was $78 for the whole collection. There is not individual prices. You can go to... LauraLeeLosAngeles.com and look at it. Like I said, they don't have the boxes no more. She had that on the Insta story the other day. Um, they no longer have the um, present boxes. So I'm using Grande Mascara Lashing Boost Formula. This come in my new boxy charm. The um, I'm looking for my eyelash. Um, squeezers um curlers that's what they're called curlers um 
it came in there and I've been wanting to try this so I guess it's a good thing it came in it so I'll curl my eyelashes real quick this is from Sephora any eyelash curler will work and my skincare guys has been far and far in between to be honest with you since all this has been going on it's just been one of those if I get it fine and if I don't fine I just that was kind of the least of my worries because if you don't have lungs to breathe then you know you're not around to worry about what your skin looks like but I did do I did a couple of facials when I was sick just the sheet mask but I think tonight after I take my makeup off I'm going to do the um, Aztec volcanic ash that you mix with um, apple cider vinegar to really get in there deep and I'm going to put a nude eyeliner on as soon as I get this done and I've not worn contacts in so long I don't know how my eyes is going to feel about wearing them I've been trying to watch YouTube and catch up on some of the new products out, but I've got so many products that I need to use and film that I'm not going to buy, I don't think I'm going to buy anything new. Um, just because I've got quite a few things that I've not used. I've got a basket full. The basket is completely full to the point to where I had to start putting it in the drawers that it goes in like my eyeshadow and mascaras and lippies and all that kind of stuff so it's one of those things okay do I want to do a nude eyeliner or a black eyeliner I think I'm gonna go black I'm going outside my comfort zone today Let's do Tart Sexy Kitten. No, it's liquid. Can't do liquid. Don't want to do liquid. Crayola, crayon. Lord and Berry's never let me down. It's just a regular eyeliner. It may need to be sharpened. Now there it goes. And I guess the only reason I can do that next to my eyes because where I wear contacts, it doesn't bother me to touch my eye with the pencil if, it, if the pencil touches my eye. Most people you see pull it down and do it, and I just I can't do it that way. I can, but I would prefer to do it my way. Now, do I have a lip liner? See, that's the only thing I miss about this kit is there's no lip liner. Yeah, this is Elf Long Wearing Mauve Luxe that I'm going to put on just my lips. Manny MUA came out with a collection and I looked at it and it's Goddess Golden or something like that. I know it's Goddess something. On. my personal opinion and this is just my opinion and everybody's got them I don't like it I don't like the packaging at all it's not pretty like his first set that he came out with um, we had a collapse in here a couple weeks back and um, well, needless to say well it was probably months back um, my niece tried to put everything back up here and it was kind of not there. It was aggravating me. All right, let's see what we got now. The doe foot, it's out and flat and then flat on this side, so. I 
You can really get up there with this. Get that lined. And then do it on the bottom. Hey, I appreciate the foots like that. I think this looks pretty. It's not too bad. I'm gonna finish with some spray. And y'all know my favorite spray if you've been here for a while. It's my Morphe setting spray. It goes on like hairspray. It's all spritz. And then I take my little fan over here, which is green, red, and white. Perfect timing. But that's the tutorial, and that's kind of what's been going on with me, guys. I'm going to try to get back to at least once a week videoing. Um, I can't promise that. January is going to be a new year. It's going to be a new thing. And I'm hoping by then I'm back 100%, or at least close to 100% to where I can. Because um, I miss doing this. I miss you guys. I miss actually doing it. That's what I was telling Josh the other night. I miss you guys so much, you don't know. It hurts how bad I miss you all. Um, just because I know, I don't know probably all of you individually, personally, but this is my outlet because I do have some social anxiety and I do have anxiety and I have, you know, depression and all that good stuff. And I mean, well, it's not good stuff, but anyway, it's just, it's a good outlet. And that's why I started YouTube over a year ago, almost two years come April the 9th, it'll be two years. And I don't have very many subscribers, and I'm not complaining because, you know, it's what it is. And um, love to add more, would love to add, love to build, love to be able to do more giveaways. Um, you know, I've got a box down here that's got stuff in it, and I've got other things I can do for giveaways. And um, just I ain't in the mood to do it. So anyway, dare not wherever you are, be safe, be careful. As always, I love each and every one of you. I am so glad to film this today. I'm going to attempt to maybe edit it tomorrow or Monday and try to get it up for the new year. Um, but like I said, just comment below what you guys might want to see. Um, if I have the products, I'll do the look. If there's a specific look you want to see, this will be really cute for like New Year's Eve, um, Christmas. Um, you can go in with um, some other colors in that kit that green uh, that green I'm wearing Christmas Eve I cannot wait because it's when our family says their our um Christmas is Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day um Josh normally has to work but he's on day shift now so he don't have to work Christmas Day so I don't know what we're gonna do yet but anyway they're not where you are so stay safe stay careful be careful stay, stay safe and be careful it's been a while. Can you tell? I love you guys. Thank you for sticking it out with me, and I hope y'all understand. Um, I am truly sorry, but this is what's been going on. If any of you see this and you don't think that I'm telling the truth, I have the medical bills to prove it, and uh, I have the medicine to prove it, and um, the transcripts from the doctors. Um, you know, I've got some out there that uh, troll my YouTube just to be trolling, and I've not blocked them simply because, you know, let them be who they want to be. I don't care. Um, but I have no reason to lie about this. This is a, a serious situation and it scared the crap out of me and Josh. And we were really afraid that, you know, I wouldn't live much longer. But thank God he kept me here and he's keeping me here for a reason. So y'all have a good Christmas. If this goes up after Christmas, I hope you have a good, you had a good Christmas, and let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas and what you asked for but you didn't get, and you're going to go secretly buy it yourself. Talk to you guys later. Bye.